Welcome to the final section of this course, Machine Learning with Dask. In this section, we'll see how we can use Dask for implementing machine learning algorithms. So the first topic in this section is Introduction to Dask ML. So let's get started. In this video, I'll try to give you an overview of Dask ML, like what are the features it provides and how it helps you to scale machine learning algorithms. Dask ML provides API similar to scikit-learn for machine learning. Just like Dask arrays, API is similar to NumPy array, and the Dask data frame API is similar to Pandas API. Similarly, the Dask ML API is similar to the scikit-learn API for machine learning. You can use Dask ML to perform machine learning over data sets that would usually not fit into the memory. Also, using the Dask collections, you can implement your own parallel versions of machine learning algorithms. This will allow you to make use of the multiple cores that are in the system, or uh, if you have a cluster setup, you can utilize that as well. As we have seen in the previous videos, the true potential of Dask comes out when you have a proper uh, cluster setup and uh, you are using data sets that are much, much larger than what can fit into the memory of a single machine. Additionally, Dask ML can also combine with external libraries like XGBoost and TensorFlow to implement more complicated machine learning algorithms. The point here is that you have more options to work with and more algorithms to use for your applications. Internally, for implementing these parallel versions of algorithms, Dask utilizes its uh, internal collection of data structures like Dask bags, arrays, data frames, etc. so as to fully utilize the multiple cores that are available in your system. That's it for an overview of what Dask ML is and what features it provides. For more information, you can refer these links for information to know about how Dask scales your machine learning algorithms and uh, how you can uh, use it to perform parallel computation for machine learning. Additionally, you can refer the last two links for using Dask ML with XGBoost and uh, Dask ML with TensorFlow.